Hey guys, I hope you're ready. I'm bringing you along for a pretty much whole house restock. This is my Sunday routine, planning, meal prepping, deep cleaning, restocking, organizing. We're gonna be doing it all and you're coming along with me. We are definitely going to get this done together. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get something done with me. Hello to all of my wonderful YouTube friends. I missed you. It's been a while, hasn't it? I didn't post last week, so I just want to say I truly, and I mean this, I missed you guys. As I was getting ready to film these voiceovers, I had the thought, usually I dread doing voiceovers because it all depends on my mood and how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'm stumbling over my words more and I have to redo it. And so I typically dread doing voiceovers, but when I was getting ready, I was like, I'm excited because I feel like I actually get to talk with you guys. So I hope you're ready. We have a lot we're going to be doing today. Sunday hey. fun day. Sunday fun day. It's Sunday fun day? Yes, yeah, Sunday fun day. Well, it's Saturday fun day for us, but Sunday fun day for mommy's friends. So I wanted to bring you along for our Sunday reset routine, Sunday routine, kind of like our weekend routine. I was actually doing this on a Saturday. If we have a pretty free weekend, this is the stuff that I do over a couple of days, but sometimes it all has to be done or a majority of it does have to be done on a Sunday. And this is what I strive to do on a Sunday or over the weekend. I promise you, I don't get this stuff done every single weekend. This is just my best attempt at it. Um, but this day I was actually able to get everything done that I wanted to. So I was really excited, but I was getting started in our bedroom and Mike was overseeing all three girls cleaning their own rooms. So since all three girls are older now, they clean their rooms. I go in there maybe once a month just to clean it up the right way. Um, and it's been a while since I've done that. And I went in there and I was like, oh, yep, it's pr they're both pretty messy. I'm sure you guys saw that. So um, since it was Saturday and Mike was home, not working, I was like, okay, can you oversee the girls? Just make sure they're cleaning up. And if they need help, you can help them. And then I was trying to get everything else done. And I haven't done this in a while, like deodorized and cleaned the mattress. So I just sprinkled some baking soda on there. I was going to let it sit all day long. So I was going to do a quick wipe down of our cabinets and I do this with my O Cedar spin mop. I put in one teaspoon of powder tied laundry detergent in the mop bucket. I had noticed sometimes the way the light shines in, you know how you can see like the fingerprint marks on like a cabinet door the way, when, a, when the light hits off of it in a certain angle. I saw that the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a quick wipe down of the cabinets. So that's what I was doing. I know that whatever you guys are going through right now, maybe you're cleaning along with me, maybe you're relaxing, um, however you're feeling, you know, wherever your head is, I just want you guys to know that you're doing an amazing job. And this is something that I really want to start doing more. You know, I, I try really hard to express my gratitude towards you guys. You are a huge part of my life and this community truly means 
everything to me. Um, but I just want to make for sure that I'm doing as much as I can for you guys. And I just know that sometimes we don't hear it enough from other people in our lives. But I want you to know that you are doing an amazing job. And I know that sometimes it feels like we're not doing enough and we're all dealing with so much going on and it can be very overwhelming but I want you to know that you are doing an amazing job so hang in there you're doing great I promise So you know I love my Bissell Steam Shot Hand Steamer. Might be my favorite cleaning tool ever, but I don't know why I never thought about using it on my stovetop. I saw Tiffany Beeston do it and I was like, uh, duh, Jamie, why aren't you trying that on your stovetop? So that's what I was doing. There was some burnt on marks and you know you have to be really careful around the burners and why another reason why I really like using it is because it really shines the stainless steel. I hate that this cooktop is stainless steel. It is near impossible to get streak free, even with all of my, my stainless steel cleaners. I don't know what it is, but it's near impossible to get streak free. And so the steam shot helps with that. So it was really nice to get into all the cracks and crevices, but then also blast away grease and then shine it up. So I had taken out the garbage and I noticed how gross the garbage can area was. I'm sorry it's a little blurry here. I had no idea when I was filming it that it got a little bit blurry. So I was going to bust out my steam shot again and tackle this. It made cleaning the garbage cans so much easier. So much quicker than cleaning it with just soap and water. But recently I got the latest version of the Norwal. So you guys know I have a couple different robot vacuums and mops. And... I've always loved the Norwal. The one downfall why I didn't love it was because it didn't have a roller bar. I also have a Robo Rock, which is phenomenal. I love the way that vacuums because it has a roller bar in it and a little spinny things. You guys know what I'm talking about with robot vacuums. And so I love the Norwal for mopping and I prefer the Robo Rock more for carpet and vacuuming. But then the Norwal recently came out with a roller bar. So now it is wonderful at vacuuming and the reason why I really like it in the latest model is because it cleans well the old model did this too it cleans the mop pads but it has a special like intelligence that when it's cleaning if it notices that an area isn't really clean it will go back and clean it again it is an amazing upgrade and I've been loving it lately now I will tell you it is pretty expensive um, but I think it's just a great option because when people ask me they're like I want you know the best robot vacuum and mop 
let me know what that is i would say the norwal but then i would say a majority of people want something that performs well but they want something that's more budget friendly and that's where i think the robo rock is definitely like it is a great machine i just think the norwal norwal is slightly better um but it's a lot more expensive than the robo rock so if budget is important robo rock all the way if you want the best of the best the norwal but it's really cool you'll actually see me using it here at the end of the video Oh, there's also a Costco grocery haul at the end of this video. So if you like Costco grocery haul, stay tuned for that. But as I'm cleaning out the refrigerator, cleaning the fruit, restocking, let's get into the high point and the low point to the week. So high point of the week is that life is good. And I mean that in a way of, I finally feel settled. And this is like, a, I, I was thinking about this the other day, you know, Young kids, when you have babies, you have toddlers, life is crazy. I know you guys know what I'm talking about, especially when you have twins. And previously, before I even had the twins, I was dealing with infertility, IVF, two IVF rounds. And I just, when I think back to essentially the past almost decade, probably the past nine years, life has been crazy. Um, trying to get pregnant so we started in 20 or er, 2013 so 2013 trying to get pregnant had no idea we would have trouble and then i'm just gonna give you a brief overview so 2013 trying to get pregnant it took us over a year to get pregnant with avery and then obviously i was pregnant newborn and then when she was a year and a half we decided to start trying again we thought it would be easy because i went on clomid that did not work. So we did six rounds of that. And then we did a round of Femara, Femara. And then that didn't work. And then we saw a fertility specialist did an IUI. That did not work. And then we went to IVF. That was crazy, like going through the egg retrieval process and all of that. And then that we had a transfer that failed. And then we took a three-month break and then had another transfer. And then I was obviously pregnant. And then I had newborn twins. And then that was crazy. And then when they turned a year old in March of 2020, we all know what happened in March of 2020. So then, you know, you're talking the next two years was kind of chaos and uh, just crazy in general. And then it was 20, what, 2022. The twins were three. So, you know, just getting to that stage where they're getting a little bit easier. And then here we are in 2023 and the girls are four and eight and they're just, it's like a good, they're good ages. And I'm just finally feeling settled and it feels good. I'll go more into this. I'll stop talking for a second, but it just, it feels weird to feel content and settled.
so I'll finish talking about that high point and feeling content and settled but here I had found these on Amazon they are you can make your own popsicles I thought they would be good because the girls you know love their popsicles especially in the summer I had this idea I'm like I should make because I we make smoothies all the time and I'm like you know what I'm gonna make smoothie pops you guys, I made them and the girls love them. I did add some honey to sweeten it up a little bit, but ooh, they love these. I'm gonna be making these every single week here in the summer. And then after this, um, you'll see this little drink pump that I got also from Amazon that has been wonderful with the girls being at home over the summer. You hook it up to a jug. Um, the girls love lemonade, so I just made some lemonade with like um, a powder that has no artificial sweeteners and no sugars. And because Emery and Avery specifically will just, they love their lemonade. And I also plan on putting water in here. You'll see it here after I make these uh, smoothie popsicles. But that way they can get in and get their own drinks all summer long. It's just these two are, these two Amazon finds are awesome. I will have them both linked below. So yeah, going back to what I was talking about of just finally feeling settled because I just had this feeling come over me and I'm like, man, it just, life is good. I just feel very content and settled. And I was like, why? And I think the big thing to this is the, the twins turning four. It just seemed like a huge turning point. I am loving four, loving. I mean, Avery is awesome. You know, she's easy. Um, you know, she's at the age where it's like fun to talk with her, take her out to lunch and actually do things with her. And the twins being older now, you know, like, it's just they they listen of course not all the time but like they're at an age where they listen they can entertain themselves see Avery loved she couldn't wait to have one um the twins were upstairs watching a movie so they didn't see it and she really really liked them but I'm just feeling very content with life and I was like is it just because the twins are turning four and I feel like life has slowed down because they're four but then I thought back to the past like I said the past nine years and there has been always something that we've been working towards you know trying to get pregnant infertility issues and then the the craziness of newborn and toddler those toddler stages I mean that's a lot and you know you're just never feeling I guess settled because things are changing so much and we're just finally out of all of that like chaos I mean it's all good chaos but you know what I'm saying and it's just like, okay, what's next? Like, it almost feels weird. Like, our family is complete. You know, we're settled. Um, I don't know. It's like, honestly, a really good feeling to feel content and happy with life. You just gotta let them flow without judge. There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta try. Like, keep 
copying all of the girls healthy-ish snacks um you know like not the candy not the cookies things like that um, I guess there's some M&Ms and things like that in the tra trail mix, but I like keeping it down here So when the girls are constantly asking can I have a snack? Can I have a snack? Can I have a snack? And we tell them, you know, it has to be a Healthy snack. We kind of have like three different levels. It's either like fruit and vegetables yogurt that type of thing and then after that it's like some of these prepackaged snacks right here and then of course you have your normal like cookies the candy and things like that um but it's nice to keep it all down here and I have overflow because sometimes when these get low, Avery will actually pull from the overflow and fill it up for me. So, all easily accessible for the girls this summer. Oh, the other high point to the week was that Avery pitched for the first time in her softball game. She has, something has happened in the past year. She has just been loving softball, like has gone in hard. She practices all of the time on her own. We were outside as a family last week and we were just, we were letting the girls like ride their bikes in the driveway and she just walked out of the garage. She was riding bikes with the twins and she walked out of the garage with a bucket of balls and a mitt and she's like... Hey, I think she even asked Mike first, hey, dad, you know, can we play catch? I want to practice my pitching. And then I went in and caught for her. I used to be a catcher in high school. So it was kind of fun to watch her um, pitch to me. But she pitched for the first time in her softball game and she did so good. And I don't know, just as a mom, I'm just experiencing those moments where you're watching your child. Again, they're getting older, kind of going back in, going back to what I was saying before. I'm watching her grow up and find hobbies of her own, things that she loves. Nothing that I'm pushing her on or telling her to do. Cause you know, like with the twins or four, they only can do what I let them or tell them to do essentially. And Avery has chosen to work towards softball and work hard at it and try and she loves it. And so I love watching her try hard and try to achieve these goals that she wants to to achieve in softball and so it was a proud mom moment watching her pitch but I was also really excited for her. So the low point of the week really isn't too low, too bad at all. And I want to be careful with what I say. I never want to come across as ungrateful. Last time I said something similar to this, someone yelled at me and they said I, it was when I said that we were trying to find our new normal, our new routine when Mike, when Mike's job changed because he was in the office and he was working from home more at his previous job and someone was like you should just you shouldn't be complaining about trying to find a new routine you should just be grateful that your husband has a job and i'm gonna say something similar of course i'm super grateful and happy that my husband has a job and with this situation what i was going to say is the low point is just with the summer trying to find our new normal of course i am so grateful to have my kids home for summer and i'm able to be at home with them and spend the quality time with them but like with any change 
you're just trying to find your new normal. I mean, for nine or 10 months out of the year, they're in school and you have one routine and then they come home and you're trying to figure out your new normal. And I wouldn't say it's a low point, but we've just had a little bit of, we've stumbled a little bit, you know? I think everyone thrives better in a routine, so we're just still trying to figure that out. Um, here I was making some homemade Uncrustables to freeze up because we've been doing a lot of eating outside, parks, um, eating on the go, and I just wanted to have them in stock. So yeah, in something else that I think is a little bit different is if you're a mom, you can relate to this, you know, every year the kids grow, they get a year older. And so with that, like a year ago, the twins being three, we weren't, we're, we're able to do things this year that we weren't able to do last summer. So every summer is a little bit different with the twins being four. I've noticed that Avery and the twins like doing a lot of the same stuff to where a year ago, the three-year-olds still felt like babies, if that makes sense. And they didn't like doing the same stuff as Avery. So it's just, it's a whole new world, whole new routine. We're trying to figure it out. I know we'll get there. Um, but yeah, I guess just like we've stumbled a little bit, but we're making our way. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, I'm gonna make my famous. <laughs> I don't have any recipe that is famous, but this is my most asked for recipe. It's my energy balls. They're no bake energy balls. That's what the recipe says. <laughs> your, your face is a mess, girl. Um, no bake energy balls or energy, energy bites, whatever you wanna call them, but they are super good. I eat one usually, I usually eat a couple every single day. The girls love them. So I'll show you how to make them. So I will have this recipe linked in the description if you guys are curious. We make these every single week, so um, recipe will be linked in there. But when I'm done here, I was going to go upstairs and vacuum the mattress. So I try to let the baking soda sit on the mattress as long as possible. And when I vacuum it up, I do use a shop vac because baking soda can ruin your vacuum. Um, I know a lot of people still use a regular vacuum, but I don't know. I just personally don't want to risk ruining my vacuums, so I just use a shop vac. We have them. We actually have two of them um, out in the garage, so I use that to vacuum up all of the baking soda. But don't forget, there is a Costco grocery haul, and I'm going to share kind of what I do at the, well, what Mike and I do at the end of, you know, every Sunday night to kind of set ourselves up for the week and try to be as successful as we can. So it's days like this that make me feel so good, so productive, so successful, and to be 100% open and transparent with, transparent with you, days like this don't happen every single week or every single month. When they do, it's wonderful, but it was just a day where just everything went right, you know? Um, the girls are really good. 
um, later this evening. We spent a lot of time together. We got outside. We did some things. Like, it was just a day where I was really productive, got a lot done, but then I also got some quality time, you know, with the girls. So I just store them in the freezer. Um, they get kind of sticky, I think just because of the peanut butter and honey if you put them in the refrigerator, but it's totally okay if you want, like if you know you're gonna eat one soon, you can totally put it in the refrigerator. Um, but I like free putting them in the freezer and then I let them sit out for maybe five minutes. And I kind of like them like slightly frozen still, enough where you can bite into them. I just don't like them like super soft. I don't know if that's weird. I'm kind of weird also with ice cream. I like my ice cream to be almost like a milkshake. I like my ice cream to have like a little bit of, I like it to be a little bit melted on top so you almost kind of like scrape it and eat it. I, <laughs> maybe I'm weird, but I also like my chocolate chip cookie is super soft and barely cooked in the middle. Mike always makes fun of me. So maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm like all, maybe I like weird textures, but yeah. Freezer, set out for five minutes, and you're good. Mike and I always sit down. I'm actually creating my to-do list for the next day. I always do that every single night. Um, I like to sit down and kind of collect my thoughts. So every single week I sit down and I plan like my master weekly to-do list. And then each night I just kind of revisit that daily to-do list. And I, when I have the master list for the week, I break it down each day. And obviously sometimes I get it all done in a particular day and other times I don't. Um, so each night I just kind of reevaluate what do I have going on tomorrow, remake my list if I have to pull something from the next day or so. Um, and because it's Sunday, um, on Sunday nights Mike and I always sit down together and we kind of go over, okay, what's this week? What do we have? What games, practices? What do you have going on? What do I have going on? Meals? And we just kind of like connect and talk about what, um, just essentially how the week's going. So thought I'd add this in since this is my essentially Sunday routine. So it's kind of nice because now that it's summertime we can sit outside, relax, um, and I have my list right here that I'm making. Don't make fun of my handwriting. I have horrible handwriting. A digital, I like digital planning essentially. So have my list right here that I'm making. I still got to add a few things but we're just sitting here relaxing at the end of the night and hoping for hoping for a good upcoming week. Oh, my makeup looks horrible. I need to go get a shower. Thank you guys so much. I think there's a Costco grocery haul that's next. I think I still have a Costco grocery haul. I thought I was gonna put it in this video since I showed you stuff that I um, used to restock the house from Costco. So I think there's gonna be a Costco haul. Um, so that should be next, but I'll just say bye right now. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me today. I hope it helps if you guys see kind of what we like to do on Sundays. Um, Everything that I showed you does not get done every single Sunday. It's more of like a weekend reset. Like what can I get done on Saturday? What can I get done on Sunday? Um, it's rare that I do all of that on Sunday, but sometimes because we have stuff that comes up, it does all have to get done on Sunday, but that's what we aim to do. And all that matters is I like the living room and kitchen. I like that to be clean for the week. Cause when I come down on Monday morning, I just feel a lot better and less overwhelmed because Monday morning is already so overwhelming. It's less overwhelming when you have a clean house. So that is kind of number one. Laundry done, 
living room and kitchen cleaned up. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you guys next time. So I just got back from Costco. I'm gonna share everything we got. And as I was bringing stuff in, um, Mike was actually helping me. It's a Saturday. So Mike was helping me. Mike was helping me bring stuff in. And I was like, I think this is my first Costco haul in the new house. I don't know if we've been to Costco in the new house. Like we've gone like once or twice just to pick up some, some of our favorites, but I don't think we've gone for like a full haul. So I brought it all in. I was like, where should I set it for my grocery haul? Because in like the old house, I'd always put it on the island. Anyways, I know that's kind of weird, but I just always had a routine. Like when I would show a grocery haul or a Costco haul, I would have it all laid out perfectly. And it's just like a different, different house. So a little bit different, but I will show you what I got. Where'd mommy go? Costco. Costco. <laughs> All right, so we'll start over here. I already dug into a couple of the things. These Girl Scout Thin Mint, Thin Mint pretzels. Every single night, I eat a snack in bed before bed. I know it's a horrible habit, but I don't care. I eat a snack and almost every night I add in, I usually add in a, like, a variety of things. Honestly, these are like two of the things I always have. I like a salty and sweet snack. So I'll do like the peanut butter pretzels and then I typically just do the regular chocolate covered pretzels like the Flips brand. But these Girl Scout Thin Mint pretzels are really, really good. So I picked those up. These are a staple. I think this is something that we had gone previously to get because I like having these on stock. I always like having these on hand. Some Baby Bell cheeses. Honestly, with all of this, it was mainly snacks for the girls now that we're home for summer. Um, especially, I know there'll be a lot of Avery's friends and other kids around, so I wanted to make for sure we had snacks on hand. So I got this Baby Bell cheese. The girls love that type of cheese. Some chicken breasts. So this is something that I've never gotten before. We are not keto. No one in our family is keto. Sometimes Mike will eat keto, but none of us are keto right now. But I heard, so I heard really good things about this. So I was like, we'll give it a try. When I got home, I wanted to try it because I was like, it does not look like it would be good extra protein and fiber but it's pretty good like it's not full of flavor like if your kid is used to really really sugary cereals which my kids do have every once in a while we typically don't buy like the normal um my kids definitely have sugary cereals every once in a while but not regularly um so i think they'll be good with this honestly i think it tastes really really good and i would eat it i would eat it plain like i think it's pretty good so I just like it how it has the extra protein in it. I always look for sugar content and protein fiber. Just something to, if the girls are eating it for breakfast, I just want something that's gonna like stick longer than an hour. So, first time buying that, I think it's pretty good. I would, like I said, I'd eat it dry. Some turkey breasts. The girls love a good old turkey sandwich for lunch. Trail mix. You love your trail mix, huh, Emery? Emery loves her trail mix. Some Tide Pods. I really like these. This is the Ultra Oxy kind. I use these um, after the girls are playing outside and, you know, we have a lot of dirt and all that. So I really like those pods for those. And after softball games, hot dogs because it's grilling season um, and we go through a lot of hot dogs. And I like these just because I feel like they're all beef hot dogs. You can, you can try it. Um, some chicken nuggets, which actually it's almost lunchtime, so I'm gonna throw those in the air fryer for the girls. Some Core Life, these are protein drinks. Mike likes these. I prefer the Premier Protein chocolate peanut butter um, protein shakes, but he likes these, so I picked those up from him. Some turkey or chicken sausages, which the girls love for breakfast. They really, really like these. Um, Aussie Bites, I like crumbling these up on oatmeal. I eat these a lot. They're really, really good. And they're also good for like a little after workout snack. Um, they just have yeah, rolled oats, dried apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, coconut, quinoa, chia seeds, all of that. Eggs. I've been going through a lot of eggs. I eat eggs pretty much every single day. I'm trying to up my protein with my weightlifting. So I eat eggs every day. This is something I've never gotten 
ever before. Um, I've heard a lot about it. I think it's popular. Um, I don't know. I've seen it around a lot and then Costco had it and it was a really good price. So I was like, oh, let's give it a try. So it's the Brazilian body cream. Um, you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Did I? Mm -hmm. mommy, Do you like all the snacks that mommy got? I also, also Mimi has fruit. She does? Okay, some beef sticks. I don't like these, but Mike and the girls do. Um, so I pick those up. Some layered fruit bars. These are just like a well, fruit by the foot that we used to eat back in the day or a fruit roll up. Um, so I got those. Some egg bites. Again, looking for simple, easy breakfast or quick, easy meals. My girls could honestly eat eggs any time of the day. So I picked these up. I don't think we've ever tried these before. Turkey sausage and cheese, grilled chicken patties. I think I've had these before. There used to be a brand from Costco that had chicken patties and I love them. I don't remember the brand. It's been a couple of summers and I remember eating them a ton that summer. So I picked these up because we grill a lot in the summer and I always prefer chicken chicken or a all beef burger, but I really, really like chicken, so I grabbed those. Yeah. Chunky guacamole, this is something we always get from Costco. I like having this on hand for dips, dipping, um, vegetables, I add it on tacos, taco salads, burrito bowls, all of that. Some nasal spray because of allergies. I use this every day, and then I take like a daily Claritin. And then these balance breaks. The girls love cheese and crackers, um, kind of like Lunchables. So I picked these up. Mike also likes these when he's in the office. So um, I wanted to pick those up. Body wash, cut up watermelon, just because we're actually going to a cookout here later and I wanted to take it, just didn't have time <laughs> to get a watermelon and cut it up. Che or cheese pizza, just to have on hand. In case we need something quick and easy. Applesauce pouches, pretty much a staple from Costco. Some Z bars and then Nature Valley protein bars. Um, my girls love a bar. Um, a granola bar, a Z bar, a fig bar, all of that. They love a bar and sometimes if they're hungry, if they ate a good dinner, they're still truly hungry. Not like, not one of those situations where they want a snack. Like they say they're hungry, we usually will um, point them to some Greek yogurt, some fruit, or a bar like one of these. And Avery, a lot of times, if she has a double header or a a double header or a tournament, she'll pack these in her softball bag. And so that's why I picked these the protein ones up because, again, just something to kind of stick a little bit longer than just a normal chewy granola bar. Um, and then we've never had these before, but I thought they looked really, really good. The girls love popcorn, and I thought all of the different flavors they would really, really like. So we picked these up for summer picnics, summer fun. Huh? We got these two little monkeys. Okay, we're gonna get cleaned up. So did mommy do good at Costco? Yep. All right, so the goal for this was snacks for the summer. Kids are home all day, every day. We'll have you know other kids coming in from the neighborhood or Avery's friends. So the focus on this was just stocking up on snacks for summer and then softball games like when we're out at the ball field or out on the go at the park, having park lunches, um, just doing more stuff because we definitely go out more here in the summer so just trying to stock up on that type of stuff and then easy quick meals for breakfast lunch and dinner because summer is just busier so that was cool